Meet Serena, Kylie, and Tess. They are sisters, age 20, 18, and 16. Together, they make up the vegan band Truth on Earth and dedicate their gifted abilities to their staunch activism and humanitarianism. This is my bed with my two lovely sisters sitting on it, casually. <laughs> Hi, we're Truth on Earth. Be veg, go green, save the planet. Hello, courageous viewers, and welcome to Vegetarian Elite. On today's episode, we will get to know the charming members and family of Truth on Earth. Gandhi,、um, he's one of our heroes, and he proved that peace could best be achieved through truth and nonviolent protest. And that's one of the reasons we formed Truth on Earth because we really want to make a huge difference in the world, and you know, bring more awareness to the problems and solutions to make it a better place for future generations. And that's why we give 70 percent of our profits to organizations supporting the causes we sing about. What kind of issues do you guys sing about? We sing about substance abuse, cyberbullying, factory farming, slaughterhouses,、uh, animal abuse, all this stuff. Child Homeless, abuse, homelessness, depression. The environment. By helping to raise awareness through their powerful lyrics, the band aspires to soon usher an era when everyone becomes part of the solutions. We get inspired by. Knowing what is really happening, and we feel that there's no time to waste. We're putting it out there and saying what's really the truth, for so people can realize what's really going on. Jamming with the '70s-style rock influence offers a fresh, empowering avenue of music appreciated by a wide range of listeners. Their artistry reaches out to young and old alike, and has received responses from everyday people to environmentalists and celebrities such as Ed Begley Jr. and Woody Harrelson. We actually have people email us saying that after watching our factory farm music video, that they've gone vegetarian and or vegan. That just means so much to us that we're making that big of a difference of saving that many animals' lives. That the person is not eating animals anymore. The girls are certainly doing their part in making the world a better place. What can other young people do to join in that path? A really easy way to start helping change the world is just simply by stop eating meat and dairy, because factory farming and slaughterhouses is the number one source of global warming and one of the huge reasons why you know our ozone layer is depleting and the ocean levels are rising. It has a huge connection.、Um, just all of the methane gas from the cows and animals, and all of the water and food and grain that we use on all the animals. We waste so much grain on feeding a few animals that we could have used on feeding. All the humans all over the world. If we stopped all the gas-powered and diesel-powered、uh, motor vehicles in the world today, but we kept the factory farming industry intact, we'd still be overrun by the problem of greenhouse gas emissions, global warming, and possibly destroying our ozone layer for good just from factory farming. And it'd probably only take about 10 or 15 more years. We really have a, a, one good shot at making a difference, and that's to change the way people think about food. Yeah. On our website, we actually have a take action page where it has a ton of really good tips on、for、different subjects for every issue of what you can do to help.
guests, Kylie and Serena, were born and raised as compassionate, eco-aware vegans. So what encouraged mom and dad to make that initial switch in their own lifestyles? We both had you know, terrible health problems in our late teens. And that was the inspiration to seek out other alternative options, which led us to first of being uh, partial vegetarian, then vegetarian, then vegan. It became more part of our spiritual life because we began to realize where does your food come from, and that's the eye-opener. Although the girls have always been given a choice on their dietary choices, they always opted for the plant-based diet. Their mother shares a story of Kylie when she was just a toddler at a birthday party. There's this big princess birthday cake, and uh, we said, well, you know, it, there's dairy in there, and we don't eat dairy, um, but it's your choice. Even at uh, two or three, she was, and so we cut her a piece, and we put it in front of her, and, and she looked at it for about a half hour. I remember she, she pushed it back, and she said, no, I don't want it. Indeed, the girls were brought up with a clear perspective of why they were vegan. They've always taught us age-appropriate things. Um, we actually had pet chickens for a little bit, which, of course, you know, who can eat a little baby chicken? They're so adorable. And they also showed us videos of an actual slaughterhouse. That really opened our eyes even more, because it's just so, you know, disturbing how people can treat animals that way. Seeing pictures of cows and pigs and chickens, being happy and explaining to us that that's what a hamburger is, it's a cow, it really or be. that's what a chicken wing is, or, you know, a buffalo wing, it's a chicken, and that's what bacon is, it's a little baby pig. Yeah. Their connection to it really made an impact, because little kids, if they have a choice, they don't want to eat an animal. And I know, you know, I, that they will be vegan for life, because they they love our planet, you know, they, they love every animal on the planet, and, and the planet itself, and their health, and people, and, you know, it's just... The love just comes out, and I know that will never change. We think it's just a cause, written into a clause. Maybe us, maybe us, excuse us for we must. When we come back after this short message, we'll continue our talk with the family of Truth on Earth and how they are lending their vibrant voices to help uplift the world. people can make a big difference and if you know more people who want to make a big difference gather together we can make even even more big difference all over the planet and that you know since music is a universal language we believe that's a great way to spread our message Welcome back to Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television as we chat with the three delightful members of Truth on Earth and their wonderful parents. As caring inhabitants of the world, the girls devote their music and efforts to making our planetary abode a better place. One of the main paths that their entire family embraces is veganism. We're always, always had so much respect for animals and they're just so amazing. We yeah. would never crush a wasp that's in our house. In fact, we put we even a little piece of paper, we say, come on here and we'll take you outside. And it'll crawl right on and you take it outside. Friends have also been inspired by the family's loving examples. The friends oftentimes aren't aware or don't know, and once they become aware, oftentimes they really find it compelling to look at it as a change. When they find out about it, they feel like they've been outsmarted their whole life, you know, with bad information. Yeah. 
And many times I've even um, talked to the parents and said, well, okay, if your daughter doesn't want to eat meat, you know, I'll go to the grocery store with you or give you cooking lessons and show you what's in our pantry and our refrigerator and our freezer. Once someone is enlightened as to what, you know, where their food comes from and what the animals go through and how not being vegan destroys our environment and if you're a conscious, you know, person with a, with a warm, compassionate heart, you don't want any part of that. Affirming plant-based diet is also the healthy way to go for both humans and animals. Somebody said to him, well, don't you miss not eating cheese and so forth? And uh, they said, no, actually, if you look at the biochemistry of cheese, but when you smell a, a dairy cheese, it has a kind of a foul smell. And what that happens to be is it's called butyl, B-U-T-Y-L. It's, 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 it's taken from the stomach acid bile of a cow. So it's literally what would be regurgitated with vomit, and it's what gives vomit its smell. But it's also what gives cheese its smell. All of our animals are vegan. So the, the dogs have been vegan their whole life, and um, they've always been super healthy. Um, Moses right here, he's uh, nine years old, and we have a 15-year-old and an 8-year-old, too. And um, they, their health is just exceptional. And whenever we go to the vet, you know, the vet will say, well, a shepherd typically has these problems, but he doesn't have any. He's just, he's great. Leading a life with gentler regard for all beings also fosters a peaceful ecosphere. When people eat meat, all of the, um, the feelings of fear um, that the animals go through right before they are killed, there's a chemical reaction that goes on in their body and when people eat meat, they digest that chemical and it makes them feel those feelings. And the karma. You're getting the and karma, the karma right. from eating the animals. And I think people are more compassionate just by being vegan vegetarian. So if more people were vegan, then there would be, you know, more world peace. Another important aspect is tranquility in the spiritual dimension of life. Ever since um, we were very young, our parents always had us in uh, doing meditation. Having our spiritual practice really helps you to really respect all living creatures and being you know, connected with God. A prayer and meditation helps a person evolve, clear out all the superfluous noise, get to get a peaceful state. And in a peaceful state, you want others, all other living creatures, to enjoy a peaceful experience in a peaceful state. And the only way to achieve that is to make sure you're causing no harm. Focus on being grateful. You know, and, and, and for your blessings, right, correct. Grateful for all your blessings and everything, the people in your life, and and all of the animals and the and the plants and the earth and everything. Through the prayer and meditation and that connection with the one and all, you're out there trying to create goodness every day. When you wake up, you have a bounce in your step, and when you go to bed, you feel fantastic and at peace with what you've accomplished in your day in trying to make that difference. It's it's the full fulfilling life mission is driven by the divine power. True to their mission in life, the girls of Truth on Earth help make the transition to a better, harmonious, and saved world a fun and melodic journey. Belly up a better notion, gotta do it right. 
With love and admiration, we thank the Truth on Earth family for being radiant beacons of a golden age where all beings live in wholesome, contented coexistence. Caring viewers, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples. May heavenly music always caress your heart into serenity and bliss. To learn more about Truth on Earth, please visit http colon forward slash forward slash truthonearthband.com. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com slash V-E